guys, it's Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back with my new comic book day best bets of the week for March 18, 2020. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Wasn't able to do um, best bets of the week last week. I got pretty caught up at work, been doing the whole preparation for the uh, coronavirus, and that's been keeping me fairly busy. But I uh, had some extra time this week, so I um, figured I'd get this up pretty quickly for you guys. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, starting with Dark Horse, I don't believe there's anything this week that I'm picking up. There is Bang Number Two. Um, if you guys who are interested, it looks like the cover B is already sold out. But um, like I said, I'm not picking up anything. Uh, it's going to be mainly DC and Indies this week, so um, I'm going to try to speed this up for you guys to make this rather short. All right, first book I'm going to be picking up this week is going to be Batman 89. I'm uh, sorry, Batman 89. Batman 91. Two covers. Uh, first cover is done by uh, George Jimenez. And the second cover is done by Matina. It's an extra dollar for the uh, cover B because it is a hard stock. I'm going to stick to the um, cover A. So I usually, for the most part, pick up cover A's. Uh, I just like the whole cover A in general, but um, cover B is a really nice penguin cover. So pick what you like. As you can see, it's already been sold out just because the story arc's been really good. Not because per se there's anything significant going on in this actual issue. But I could be wrong. You never know. Next book is going to be Nightwing number 70. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat, I probably only have two or three Nightwing books on my PC. <laughs> it's not a series I've been reading. And to be honest, I don't know anyone who's actually reading Nightwing. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'll add this to the book, uh, this book to my uh, best bets of the week, only and only because it's already selling for pre selling between $25 and $35 this week on eBay. Couldn't tell you why, other than then it's a prelude to the Joker War. So I don't even know if Punchline is going to even show up in this issue or not. But I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. What it's selling for. Don't pay these crazy prices. If you can get it for cover price, you do. Otherwise, don't even bother. Um, I say down the road, it's probably going to be in your dollar bins. Because it's just a prelude. Otherwise, there's nothing really significant. So, um... I just got to report those prices because it is what it is. People are paying these crazy prices, and so be it. Um, so there's your uh, second book this week. I probably won't be able to pick that up, but I'm just letting you know. There is a Robin 80th anniversary 100 page. Super spectacular. I'm personally not a big Robin fan, but I know there is a big following for Robin, so there is a bunch of covers out there going at $9.99 if you guys are interested in that. Um, if you guys didn't get Strange Adventures last, I think it was last week or the week before, two weeks ago, you can now get a book signed by uh, Tom King for cover price. So that's pretty cool. So you guys who uh, and girls who like uh, to get signatures, you can get it for cover price. That's nice. Um, another hot book this week, obviously, is going to be uh, Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen number four. This will be the conclusion of the uh, Year of the Villain, the you know Hell Arisen story arc. I'm going to add this because I kind of want to see where it finishes. You see, because it might have some implications going down the road. Uh, so there's two covers. Cover A has a really cool uh, Perpetua on the cover. Looks like uh, she's uh, destroying Lex Luthor over there. And then cover B is a really cool Ricardo Federici cover. Both are really nice covers. Um, I believe that is it for DC this week. Yes. All right. Next is Dynamite. Scrolling on through because there's nothing I ever get to do Dynamite. All right. Just mosey on through there. IDW, same thing. All right. On to Image. Image. Looks like Die, Die, Die is back. It's been a while since they've had a new issue. Ah, interesting. 
Um, Spawn is back as well, 306. I'm no longer picking up Spawn. I dropped that at 301, I believe. Um, Undiscovered Country number five is also back. It's been a really good read. So I've been digging that story. But I'm not actually, I'm not going to be picking it up this week. Well, I'm not going to be mentioning it for my best bets of the week. All right, going on to Marvel. That's a pretty cool Raza cover. Nice. You guys already know I'm a big fan of Raza. Does some really cool artwork. Very up and coming, under the radar artist. Um, I don't believe there's anything this week. I'm actually picking up Marvel, which is another rarity. But I'm just scrolling through quickly just to make sure that it's in fact the case. Um, all right. Looks like Guardians of the Galaxy number three is back this week. I read the first issue and I thought it was just okay, so I stopped picking up the. Uh, second issue and I'm just gonna stop you know picking it up in general um, nothing against uh, Al Ewing he's a great writer I just wasn't I'm just wasn't feeling the story for whatever reason there is a new number one this week it's called Outlawed number one uh, written by Eve Ewing I can't say I know who Eve Ewing is but um, I believe it's a kid team up yeah look looks like a kid Nova uh, looks like, I don't know if that's Spider-Man, uh, is that Miles Morales? Or, uh, but uh, not really, I can't say I'm interested in, in this story at all. Let me just check on Key Collector real quick and see if there's anything significant other than it's a new team up. And um, a tie-in to the incoming one shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's even less significant than I thought. All right. Well, that pretty much ends that. So that's that's a giant pass. But, you know, <laughs> Marvel likes to put, you know, several covers for these, you know, new ones, number ones. So uh, that's a giant pass. There is a big number one as well. It's Spider-Woman. Volume 7, issue number one. There is a lot of really cool covers. Um... This is actually a new cover design for Spider-Woman, so if, if you're interested in that, it's her new uh, outfit. Um, can't say I'm a big fan of Spider-Woman. Um, just, I don't know. So I'm not going to be actually picking it up. But I just wanted to point out that there is a new number one for Marvel that many people will probably pick up just for the covers. I do like the Mist and Garson covers. Those are always cool. But yeah, another another big pass for me. So scrolling on. I, wow, that's it. Yeah, no uh, Marvel books this week. All right, moving on to the independents. And uh, let's see. Arch Ang, was that Arch Angle? Angel number eight, number one. I don't know what that is. Huh, interesting. All right. What else we got? Artemis and the Assassin number one. This is from Aftershock. That looks pretty interesting. Let me see if there's anything significant on this book. Secret time traveling organization sends an assassin back to World War II era to kill a woman whose death would have cataclysmic effect on the war. That is pretty interesting. All right. Huh. We got two covers there. Oh, it's a one. Looks like it's a one for twenty. Wow. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna add that to the list. It does sound pretty interesting. I'll give it a shot if if uh, my LCS has it. All right, next book. There we go. It's finally back. This is Blood Realm, Volume Three, Number One. Big fan of Blood Realm. I love uh, Robert Ger Geronimo's artwork and writing. Very dark fantasy horror. 
storyline, uh, a little bit of medieval, you know, storyline going on there as well. It's really cool. I'm excited it's finally back. It got pushed back a couple of months. It was supposed to come out originally in late January. Um, but they, he just does three issue miniseries. And for 150, you can't beat it. I usually get two copies. One's my uh, reader copy, and uh, the other one just goes right in the bag. So uh, I'm excited to get that book. What else we got? And if you haven't read Blood Realm, check it out. Go on to the Alterna Comics website. You can easily uh, pick some of the uh, first series. It might be like you know the third or second, third or fourth printing. I don't know, but either way. The book is super low print, too. Um, let's see. What else we got? Hexagon number one. What the hell is that? I've never even heard of this company. Impact Theory? Huh. Interesting. Here we go. Hotel number one. I'm going to add this to the list. This is by Upshot. Upshot? I don't never heard of this, this company, either. So this is basically, this sounded pretty interesting when I heard it. It's um, just off of Route 66, the Periot Quartz Hotel, where many check in, but few check out. It almost reminds me of, um, if you watch one of the uh, scenes of American Horror Story, when they go to the, I don't know if it's called Hotel Cortez or something like that, it was in California. Basically, these people who died, they're like trapped in this hotel and they can't escape unless they have some like, uh, I forget what it is. Somebody with very strong supernatural powers to take you out. So it was, it almost got me that that kind of vibe when I first, you know, heard about this. Whether or not this is that kind of story or not, we'll see. But it's you know, very interesting. I'll check it out if I can get it. I don't. I've never even heard of Upshot, but hopefully I can you know at least read it online if I can get can't get a copy. So I'll add that to the list. There is um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, TNMT number four. I believe there is a first appearance of the Ninja Turtles. I think it's the, oh no, sorry, not the Ninja Turtles, Jesus. The Ninja Rangers. <laughs> there's a first appearance there for you guys, and there's a lot of cool covers there. I know I was a big fan, uh, big, big fan following for uh, both Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles, so uh, check that out. There's another number one here, Red Border number one. I'm going to add that to the list. Also by Upshot. It's going to be another one where I probably will not be able to get this. But I'm going to mention it as well. And um, this sounded interesting because I think it had to do with drug cartels. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, after escaping from a drug cartel to Texas, a Mexican couple... Yeah. Comes across a mysterious house where the host proved to be more sinister than the cartel itself. Definitely pretty interesting. I think that'll be actually a pretty good read. But like I said, going back to it, another you know publisher I probably will not be able to find. So if you guys are able to get a copy of that, let me know. You know I would like to check this out. So um, I think that's really it. I don't think there's any other books. There is this uh, other book I was looking at is Resistance Number One, which has a just really cool Raza cover. Holy crap! Look at that thing. Um, so that that sounded pretty interesting as well. I almost added that to the list, and honestly, that could be substituted for any of the other Upshot books because this has to do with uh, a global pandemic. Global pandemics are pretty, obviously, it's a touchy subject, but it is all the rage right now in the news. So uh, this does sound like an interesting story, um, and you just can't pass up that cover. So that's going to be my honorable mention of the week, is uh, Resistance number one. And if you want an honorable, another honorable mention, it's going to be Screaming Horror number one. I'm definitely not going to be able to find this book in the wild. It's by Fantaco. I, I, I mean, <laughs> look at this cover. It's just awesome. It reminds me of like these old 50s EC, EC comics covers. 
very cool. Don't know if the story will be any good or not, but just for the cover alone, it's it's just really cool. So this week I gave you two honorable mentions. Um, if I didn't already mention it, my uh, pick of the week, it's going to be, um, so I'm going to give you basically two picks of the week. And depending on what you can get, obviously, it's going to be um, Batman 91, just because it's been a really good, good story arc. And for you people, if you can find it out there, Nightwing number 70, just because it's going for $25 to $35 pre-sale. I won't be able to get one, but you know there's going to be people out there who are going to want to do the quick flip. And not, nothing wrong with that. People just want to, you know make some money to uh, pay for your big, you know, comic book hobby. So somebody wants the book, so somebody will have to pay for it, unfortunately. That's how it works. But um, all right, guys, hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. Helps my channel grow. And um, when we get to 500, we'll do a big uh, contest. So uh, the quicker I get there, the quicker you all uh, – benefit from the uh, contest. So uh, until next time, it's my expect the comics. Out.